Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Super excited today because we get to start our second online robot game challenge. For those of you that were here for On A Roll, it was an amazing online robot game challenge. And today we're ready to start the second one. It's gonna be called Game On. It's kind of because, you know, First Lego League has this year's theme as game changers and for, you know, replay. So it's all about games and activities. So I thought, hey, why not keep the theme the same? So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. And if you're gonna stay with me, I'm gonna show you everything. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. And ooh, Mr. Hino has my Hino Robotics t-shirt. So if, for those of you that don't know, I've had um, you know Robotics merch on my channel here. So if you check below this video, you should see that merch shelf. If you hit up my channel and go to store, you should be able to see um, some really cool things like die cut stickers. So it's just one of those things where I try to um, fund what I'm doing, you know, bringing these videos to you. I have to I end up buying things for, you know, the EB3 kit. So it's just helpful if you guys can help me out and having this cool Hino Robotics merchandise, it would be awesome if you guys could support me that way. But do what you can. Okay, back to the video. Okay, guys, so our second online robot game challenge is going to be called Game On. And it's all about sports and activities. And you guys know me. I love basketball. Check this out. I also played baseball in high school. And I love other sports too. So it's going to just be an amazing. And also sports came in second place when I threw out that survey asking what theme did you want for an online challenge. Obviously toilet paper was number one. So it's kind of fitting that sports and activities roll with this year's theme. You get it? Roll, toilet paper, anyway. Yeah, 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 so we're yeah, ready yeah, yeah, to start yeah, yeah. the second <laughs> online challenge. For those of you that did not participate the first time, I'd love for you guys to jump in on this one. It's going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to say, Mr. Gino, what do I need? And I'm going to throw it out to any type of robot that you have. Whether it's EV3, whether it's WeDo, whether it's Spike Prime, I just want to have everybody be able to participate and not have you know financial issues if EV3s are too expensive. So if you have a WeDo, let's get going, okay? So the rule is you can use any type robot to participate because we want to get as many people in as we can. Um, you're also you don't need to print out, but if you check the description. I have left you guys printable bases and model mats. They're basically just pieces of paper that you would print out so you know where to put everything. But if you just use a piece of paper, you know, if you don't have a printer, just use a piece of paper and try to get it as, you know, official as you can to, you know, as far as distance and having things marked out so that at least, you know, when I watch your video, I can say, hey, that, that was close enough. So now let's also get into, you know, as far as what else would you need? You just need to be able to record the mission that you would complete with your robot. So whether that be your phone or some other device that you can capture it for video sake and be able to then send it to me so I can, I'm going to be the referee and kind of, you know, just be able to watch it and be able to score your points accordingly. So there's going to be eight missions, just like on a roll. And your job is to basically try to get as many points as you can. No, you don't have to do every single mission. If something's too hard, skip it. And, you know, you're just trying to get as many points as you can. Obviously, you know, everybody's in it to win it. But, you know, I don't want you to feel like if you skip mission five, you can't go to six. Psh just skip it and do what you can do. I want this to all be about fun and participation. And if something's just too hard, then you just skip it. Obviously, you're going to try to do your best, but, you know, do the missions that you can do. 
Okay, so when you're ready, you're basically going to record your robot completing the mission. And then what you would do is try to cut your video down as you know small or short as you can. So that way you're not sending me this giant video file. And you're gonna send it to Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. And you're basically just going to, if I can get your guys' help, for those of you that would email me, you know, many, many missions, you would be a super help if you could email that to me on the same email every single time. Um, that way I'm not looking at all of these emails for everybody and every single mission. It would be awesome if you guys could just send me all your missions in one email and just keep, you know, replying on the same email so that way I can see all of your missions on that one email instead of, you know, looking through eight different emails, if that makes sense to you guys. Try to do your best. And then also, if I can get you guys to send me just a raw video file, I'm going to ask that you don't send me a YouTube link because I can't put that YouTube video into mine. I have to record it myself and it just takes extra time. So if you guys can at all help me out, record it just raw so that way I can put your video right into my video. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at mission number one for our Game On competition and it's called Slapshot. Okay everybody, there is base. Notice I did not print it in color. I was just trying to save my ink there. So, you know, do what you want to do. Um, you can have um, whatever size gear that you want in base with you. I'm going to show you the different sizes and what they mean in a second. Then you're going to make sure that there's at least 12 inches between base and the hockey and soccer field. This is actually going to be used in another mission. So for mission number one, it's going to be the hockey rink here. And you're either going to need your H frame or your picture frame. It doesn't matter because the size of, you know, of this space right here is the same. So it doesn't matter which one you use. And you're more than welcome to tape this down. You're more than welcome to add anything you need to to make it stand up better. But I think I'm just going to tape mine down really well. Okay. So basically here is how we're going to do slap shot. Your robot is going to have um, a gear, but in this case, it's going to be a puck. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to basically score a gear inside of this space right here. It needs to go completely through whatever piece you use. And you're trying to score a goal with a gear. Now, here is where teams or individuals are going to score different amount of points. Are you guys ready? If you can get this big 64 tooth gear. Now, I'm going to let you know right now, it does not fit if you just horizontally try to push this in. So this is going to be the toughest gear to get inside of that space right there. But if you can manage to get this gear into the goal, you're going to be getting 80 points. 80 points for this gear. And then I'm going to remind everybody right now, if your robot comes back to base, and all you have to do is touch base with a wheel, a ball bearing, some part of your robot, if it touches base, coming back from the mission, you'll get an automatic 20 points. Okay, now this gear is smaller gear, but this is gonna be the next size gear smaller than the gray one. If you can get this black gear into the goal, you will get 50 points, okay? And any gear smaller than this black gear, you'll be getting 30 points. So you can use this gear, you can use that tiny gray gear. I think I think it has eight teeth. So you'll get 30 points for any gear that's smaller than this black gear right there. Okay, so here are the rules. The gear or the puck 
must go completely through. It cannot be touching this in any way. It has to go completely through and onto the other side. And this checkerboard right here, your robot must not get into this checkerboard spot. Whether that is, you know, a wheel or anything touching or your robot cannot be over this spot. So you can't have your robot here and have it, you know, something in the air. Your whatever gear or puck you're using, it has to be launched from outside of this checker box. Okay, or checkered box. If you have any confusion, throw me any questions in the comment section. But again, no part of your robot may be touching this checkered spot, be over the checkered spot. The gear must be launched outside of the checkered box. Okay, guys, so that is mission number one called Slapshot. And again, check the description because I've sent you the link on printing both of these papers. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Mission number one, Slapshot. I really, really hope a lot of you participate. I love the fact that last time on our On a Roll competition, we had Yannick and his team from Germany. We had Connor from South Africa. We had Jesus from Mexico. We had the Tech Warriors from right here in the United States. So I'm just hoping that so many of you that were watching the first time can actually participate this time. I don't care how many missions you do or how many points you get. It's just all about fun and doing robotics while we're not able to do any robotics at school. Or, you know, we just want to, you know, get a, you know, our um, getting prepared for this upcoming season. So as some of you are just itching to do robotics where right now you can't, this would be the perfect scenario for you guys to do that okay so if you have any questions again throw them down in the comments section remember if you complete a mission try to send me the shortest clip you can show me that you know whatever the mission is that it did get completed and show that your robot made it back to the base so i can give you all the points and one last time remember if you send me you know all of your missions try to keep the missions on the same email so i only get you know, one email from you every time and you just keep updating your missions. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, again, throw them down in the comment section. I'll answer every one. So good luck to everybody for mission one. Um, mission two will probably be sometime next week. So I'll, I'll update you probably over the weekend. Okay, guys. All right. I am Mr. Hino from Mission Zaga Robotics. I'm out. Hey, Hino! Out. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more robotics videos, check out these really cool videos. I will see you in the next video.